Uh, this might be a bit of a longer one. We're going to look at some uh, more mainstream opening nouns, uh, mainstream openings now for white, including the Scotch game and the Four Knights. And there's actually something called the Scotch Four Knights. Let's try and sort that one out before we go much further. So this is the Scotch game. And uh, if uh, black takes and white takes, and now knight to uh, uh, f6, knight to c3, this is the Scotch four knights game. The Scotch game we pick up after just knight takes uh, d4, but black doesn't have to play uh, knight to f6. There's bishop to c5 I'm about to recommend. And instead of knight to f6, white can play a system with e5, which is very sharp and uh, <coughs> uh, difficult. So uh, knight takes, uh, sorry, knight takes knight and uh, takes back e5. And uh, this is the one the grandmasters play if they play the Scotch as a rule. Um, a natural sort of chess, which I don't like for to recommend for white and difficult sort of chess and very theoretical which I don't like to recommend for black I mean you do get stuck in if you want to take this up as a hobby but it's uh, um, I, I, I'd say play play more simply and easy to understand lines than this so the four knights game um, after all that is instead of um, knight to, uh, instead of three, three d4 here for white then uh, knight to c3 instead and knight to f6, and now if d4, we get a transposition to the Scotch four knights game. Um, and if it, instead of that, uh, black might sorry, white might play some other system like uh, bishop to b4, and that's a that's a reasonable way to play as well. So that's the naming sorted out. The name's the least important thing about it, but you can uh, at least it allows you to talk about an opening quickly with another player. So uh, that, that we'll try the Scotch game first. Um, so d4, e takes d4, knight takes d4, that's the scotch game. Um, instead of knight takes d4, uh, c3 is the uh, Goering gambit. Some people say the Goring gambit, but uh, it's uh, Goering. Uh, it rhymes with stirring and not boring. Goering gambit, d5, and this gets us into the line I recommended against the Danish gambit. If instead of c3, um, or d4, knight takes d4, bishop to c4 is played, which is called the Scotch Gambit, and uh, knight to f6 is a line that we know from the two knights defence. So uh, those are two lines you should know already. Um, so knight takes d4, and now bishop to c5. Uh, White's got <coughs> four lines here at least um, to play. Um, uh, move the knight to b3, the knight to f5, uh, the knight takes on c6 and bishop to e3 and I think bishop to e3 is a line that I could even recommend for white.